All right, I'm next with Gemini rising and sun. So this Scorpio new moon is going to be happening in your sixth house. And this is a wild one, guys, because Mars is right next to this new moon. And it is also opposite Uranus. And then both of these are squaring Black Moon Lilith in Leo. So Uranus is in your 12th. And they're both squaring Black Moon Lilith in your third house. So I feel like you guys um, are probably going to be having important realizations or conversations where things come to light about how you truly feel about things, um, especially in regards to your emotions. And I see that because I'm pulling so many cups cards and there's just, yeah, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. There's just so much I want to say. So one of the things that's happening for you guys is I feel like you have maybe been going through a little bit of a challenge recently with this nine of wands in reverse. I think there could be things in your life and it's not all bad, of course, but I think this eclipse cycle may have hit a little harder or something where you maybe have felt certain elements of your life feel out of balance and it could really feel like it's been a struggle in some area of your life. Being in the sixth house, this could be that, you know, it's it's been a struggle with work, um, but it doesn't have to be. It could be anything in your life that has felt difficult. And managing your daily life could have felt a lot. And maybe you have been, um, you know, having arguments or maybe you've been uncertain and ruminating, but there's something here where there's a little bit of a struggle. And I think this is going to especially be concerning the future of a relationship or how your relationships and your work life fit together or people that you work with. But there's something going on here, typically in, a, in these two realms of life that has been under stress. And I say that because a few days prior to this new moon, um, or maybe, I don't know, I had to look at when exactly it is, but at the time of this new moon, Mercury is making a square to Saturn. And prior to the new moon, it will also be in a square because it's kind of leaving the square when this new moon hits. So what that means is that around the time of this new moon, a little bit before, you will experience that stress of kind of asking yourself, like, how does this current dynamic fit into my future? And this could be... Um, this could be a contract that you're wanting to sign, um, an emotion that you're going through in a relationship, wondering how somebody fits into your future and if you want to move forward with them. These are all kind of topics that you might be going through in regards to life direction and career and people in your life and how those things fit or don't fit. And oftentimes with a square to Saturn, especially Mercury being your planetary ruler squaring Saturn, it's going to affect you more personally, but squares to Saturn in general do tend to bring this like reality or this harshness where we're starting to understand the limitations of something. So we maybe see the issues in a relationship or we see the issues in a certain workplace and we're like, I don't feel like I have a lot of growth here or I see the problems and I see the stuff I have to work through. And so there's something here where it's going to take a lot of um, effort and maybe even some... Um, maturity and even caution in regards to your decision making because there are limitations that you have to respect in your current situation with people and your work. So honoring that is going to be key to having the best possible outcome of this new moon. And I'm seeing this weird thing in the cards. I got the nine of wands in reverse, king of cups, moon, and then ten of cups. So I'm seeing this weird like up and down happening and that might be something that you're experiencing lately where things have been high and that things have been low and things have been high and that things have been low or inconsistency in something that also can add uncertainty and that's also just really common with a new moon opposite Uranus where things are unstable things are chaotic things are inconsistent and it's hard to grasp on and know what we think about something or what we feel about something because we maybe change or fluctuate in our moods or change our ideas about something or the situation changes often and it can feel overwhelming to have that be in our heads and be in our lives this this uncertainty and this even doubt around ourselves, especially Mercury square Saturn, that can bring up a lot of doubt within ourselves around what we want to do. And sometimes we can feel really limited by our own mindset. So being aware of your 
fluctuating nature. You already are fluctuating because you're a Gemini. And then on top of that, the energy of this period is even more so um, kind of volatile. So it's really adding to that instability. So being aware of that is important and finding ways that we can ground down in our daily routine um, into our emotional stability. And I see that with this King of Cups and then also this being a new moon in the sixth house. There's something about the way that we take care of our health, the way that we do our work, our schedule, our routine, uh, taking care of our pets, going for walks. Like those kind of things are really important to focus on right now and have clarity on so that you can achieve more emotional regulation during these more volatile times. So the King of Cups wants you to be emotionally stable and emotionally self-aware as well. If you have been going through these fluctuations and ups and downs and imbalances and you've been off your routine or you haven't been taking care of your responsibilities properly, it wants you to recognize why that is. What's the root cause of that? Um, and kind of dig that out and work on that in particular so that you can achieve more of that emotional regulation and stability back in your life. Um, one of the positive things is at the time of this new moon, your planetary ruler, Mercury, is making an exact sextile to Venus. So that harshness that's coming in prior with the square to Saturn is a, li a little bit alleviated with the support of Venus. So I think that the relationships, especially friendships, I'm seeing a lot here around friendships. This, this butterfly card has a lot to talk about um, with that, that you're going through a transition in life and you're going through these fluctuations and your friends can be this kind of root system for you to lean into. They can be, um, you know, somebody that you can talk to or any of the, those significant relationships in your life are going to be really key here for you to feel better, for you to also um, like know how to best take care of yourself, which is the goal of this time. And they can also help with this moon card. They can also help you guys gain more clarity on your own illusions. If you have fear, if you have anxiety, um, this card, my like window is shaking. So you guys might even feel like you're distractible lately because I'm like, what is happening? Um, this card indicates that there can sometimes be things that we don't see that are driving us in our life that might feel um, that might feel like it gives us anxiety. And I think that this is partially because this new moon in the sixth is and with Mars is opposite Uranus in the 12th. And the 12th house is always hidden. So there's things in our life that are um, happening in our dreams and our subconscious and that are not visible, but are affecting our psyche throughout the day, that are affecting our lives, even if we're not consciously thinking about them. So there's something in your life, in your life that you're not totally aware of, or you don't have the full conclusion of yet, or something is unknown, something is undecided, unseen, and it's producing anxiety and worry. And it might even be producing illusions. And at this new moon, I think you're going to have clarity around that. And I think your friends in particular, your community, your loved ones, your family, whoever that person or people are for you, are going to help you break down the illusion and see with more clarity how you truly feel about something and what you need in order to become more emotionally stable and resilient. Because again, I feel like you've been kind of going up and down. And at this new moon, it's about... Um, being honest with yourselves about why that is and addressing that fact and your friends can help you see that more clearly. This new moon is also making a square to Black Moon Lilith in the third house. So it's really the way that we keep ourselves busy or the way that we talk to ourselves or just think about things, our perception of things that is causing part of this up and down. And so we're having to address that particular area of our life as well as how we manage our, our day to day. Um, in order to fix this issue. So asking yourselves, like, what are my thought patterns? What do I tell myself about this? How am I making meaning out of the situation? Um, and being, again, honest with yourself about those things and how you might have shadows slip in there and influence you will be very, very helpful for you. Um, I pulled this card, which also talked about having friends as a support system, but it also talked about grounding into a new path and I see that with this 10 of cups that you guys are coming out of this difficult situation this difficult time and coming into a phase of actually a lot of emotional fulfillment um, this is like blissful relationships harmony with others feeling in alignment experiencing divine love and that might mean that you have to um, again like perceive things differently um, that might mean that you have to 
emotionally regulate yourself in a different way so that you can have relationships that are more fulfilling or that might mean addressing certain emotional patterns that come up in your relationships that are preventing you from real intimacy and and success in your career even um, and addressing those emotional underpinnings by looking at how you can soothe yourself by creating consistent routines and work on your mindset and once you make those changes, you can have these beautiful aligned relationships because I think that it's part of the, the ups and downs and the waves that is actually detracting from either your, you know, the way that you get along with people, your intimate relationships, your career success. It's there's something about that that's undermining you. Your inconsistency is undermining you. And this could even be in terms of not emotional inconsistency, but um, taking action and how you're inconsistent with that but that usually has an emotional underpinning so it's like why aren't you taking action are you are your moods changing a lot are you um, feeling like you just need to follow your whims because you didn't get enough sleep yesterday and you didn't get enough sleep because you were anxious and you were anxious because of so it's like it all kind of stems from emotions anyway so I think that you're going to come into a time of flourishing and you're blooming into the butterfly, but this is an uncomfortable period where you're learning how to use your wings, where you're breaking out of that cocoon, where you're understanding what your limits are, what you need to work through, how to navigate these emotions, how to start this whole new path. And there's a lot psychologically that needs to be adjusted in order for this to be a success. Like you can't have the same mindset on this new path. You have to have a different mindset. Otherwise, you're not really going to have this kind of harmony. Um, and part of this is, again, being very aware of your feelings and your attitudes and your habits and how those things are either getting you towards the solution or away from it. And I think you guys might be highly intuitive and creative at this time, especially with the opposition um, with Uranus in the 12th house to the moon and Mars, I think you're really going to be um, extremely intuitive and open. So lean into that. Trust the guidance that's coming to you there because I think that ultimately it's trying to tell you that um, you don't need to worry about some of the things that you actually worry about. The emotional dysregulation or the inconsistency I think is coming from a place of being concerned about past things repeating themselves. And with this North Node, I feel like it's saying that it's not the time to worry. It's a time to have faith. And with the Ten of Cups, it's it's really trying to say that this there's such a beautiful thing on the other side of this experience. Um, but you have to kind of know what's worth your energetic and emotional ups and downs and what you can just lean into and trust and flow with and not have to be so um, concerned with trying to maybe control things or concerned with trying to get ahead of things or prevent things from happening. It's like, no, I'm just going to allow this to happen and unfold the way it's supposed to because I trust and I am going to lean into my intuition and just follow that step by step and emotionally regulate myself, take care of myself, focus on what's important to me and the best results will actually come from doing that. So that's what I'm seeing for you, Gemini. I hope that resonates. If so, please comment down below. I love to read your comments and that supports my channel a lot, as well as giving me a thumbs up and subscribing and sharing with your friends if you have not already. And if you want a 2024 forecast, I'm going through month by month. This is going to be at least an hour and a half reading where I sit down with you, looking at all your transits. We pull cards. We do this, but for a whole entire year. And it's really profound and very helpful, especially if if you're having some big transits coming up this year, it's going to offer a lot of guidance and support so that you don't get caught off guard so that you know also kind of how to how to interpret things like what's the purpose of all this happening. So if it's good or if it's bad, you can either take advantage of it or you can um, kind of mitigate the losses or the difficulties of that situation by knowing what's happening and how to best um, behave or take action in that period of time. So if you're interested, I will link that down below. I'm only going to have a limited number available because the year is coming up. I've got lots of projects and there's just only so many I can do. So if you want to have that, um, then definitely jump on that. And I will see you guys next week for another forecast. But love you guys. Bye.